video number 14 in the series we're doing on high school wrestling rules. This video is going to be on the ways that you can win a match. Now, we've done match scoring, but we didn't go in depth on the ways to actually win the match. There's different ways we're going to go over it. And if the backdrop looks a little different than what you're normally seeing, I'm not in a gym or a wrestling room, I'm in my garage. I have a couple of versions of Old Glory behind me. I couldn't get to a school today. I wanted to get this shot. So sit back and enjoy. If you've not done so, down to your right, hit the subscribe button, share this video. Let's do this. In Rule 8, Section 1, which that is the penalty chart, I will link that in the comments below. And Rule 9, Section 1, that are the, those are the two areas in the rule book you can find how to win the actual match. We, we know matches are three periods of two minutes each. We've done a video on overtime. If you've not watched it, go back in the archives and watch it. But we're going to give you a breakdown of how each individual scenario you can win in wrestling. As I've said in every video, the ultimate goal in wrestling is to get the pin or the fall. There's a whole video on that. Go back and watch it if you've not done so already. But the fall always terminates wrestling. No matter when it is, when it occurs, a fall always terminates wrestling. Whoever gets the fall is the winner. Referee waves their hand. Now, there's other ways to win. There's what's called a technical fall or a tech pin. That is when the match score, not the team score, but the individual match score, reaches a gap of 15 points. Once 15 points have been reached, the match is over and let's send a near fall situation. Another way to win, what's called a major decision, which is eight points to 14 points. Those are match points. Everything I'm saying is match points. Eight match points to 14 match points is considered a major decision. One point to seven points is called just a decision. Just a regular decision, nothing about it. Now, a, in a duel, a decision is worth three points, a major decision is worth four, a tech fall is worth five, and then the fall is worth six. So we're going to give you some other ways to win here just in a second. I give explanations of other types of ways to win, but I've not put them all together. Now there's the default, which can come from an injury default if the wrestler runs out of injury time or the other wrestler runs out of blood time, whatever that is, that's worth six points. A DQ, whether it's from a illegal hold, unsportsmanlike conduct, unnecessary roughness, technical violation, or stalling, we know that once a fourth penalty is reached on that, that is a DQ. That's the sign. This is also the sign for a tech fall. Remember that. Tech fall, DQ, default. A forfeit is also worth six points at a dual meet. The, if a team has a you know, full 14 rosters, chances are, unless they're like at a national tournament or like a state dual meet or whatever, 14 weight classes with any good wrestlers are probably going to win because the, more, the amount of points that you can get from each. But remember that. Default, DQ from the penalty progression, and forfeit are also worth 16 points. Defaults can also come from anything that is not a disqualification or a DQ. It could be from the third injury timeout. It could be from being out of injury or blood time as the other video showed you, if you've not watched it, go back in the archives and watch it as well. Anything that is not a DQ or like a fall or take fall or decision is a default. You've heard me say in other videos, almost every other video, the penalty progression, unsportsmanlike conduct is one of those. That is during the match. There's also before and after the match. Now those are their own separate entity, before and after and during. If a wrestler or coach or team personnel gets an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, which there will be a video on shortly, that is one team point deducted from their total score. If a wrestler, coach, or team personnel gets a second unsportsmanlike conduct foul before or after a match, then that is a DQ from the, the event and the offending party has to be removed from the gym if, if the student and there's no suitable supervision, the student has to be contained to like the upper part of the gym or maybe in the cafeteria or someplace where the concession stand is, something like that. There's also the, the flagrant, which is, you guys know this is the symbol for flagrant. There are no warnings for flagrant. Flagrant is the most egregious act you can commit in wrestling. That is a deduction of three team points. Any points that that wrestler earned for his team point total, those are erased as they never happened. He is ejected from the event. If it's a multiple day, he's out both, or he or she is out both days. It's a one day 
they have to leave the gym the same as a second unsportsmanlike conduct either before or after the match. They have to be either on the bus with uh, suitable supervision at the top of the gymnasium, someplace like that. Also, forfeits. Like I said earlier, if a team has 14 weight classes, they're going to do good at dual meets if it's not just like at a national or state level. The forfeit means that the other team doesn't have anybody to wrestle. Now, you can bump a wrestler and get like an exhibition or something like that after the fact. But as far as the actual team score goes, the forfeit, say the team doesn't have a 120, the other team does, team A will get the six points for the forfeit win. As I said earlier on this video, we have a whole video, video number seven on overtime. I go into depth on that. You need to go back and watch it if you're unfamiliar with overtime procedures and ways to win in overtime because they're different. So we, we got our falls, we got our tech falls, our major decisions, decisions, our defaults, our DQs, our forfeits. Those are the ways you can win. You know, flagrant is a DQ, or if you're out of blood time, from a legal move, that's a default. We know all that. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said earlier, subscribe to the channel, share this video, spread the word. Hopefully you guys are liking these and we will see you guys on the mats.